back with the big guns again this week and a model that's been much anticipated. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back to Got A Ukulele, it's review day. As ever, this is the summary video review. Have a look at the link below in the description. That'll take you to the website where you'll get a lot more information about this one and a lot more reviews there too. Uh, thank yous as ever running across the bottom of the screen. It's important I say this, all really important I say this, because these people have donated to help keep this site going because I do not charge brands or the stores for reviews. I'm not on the payroll. Um, and you can also say thank you by helping me out by um, hitting the little subscribe button down there. You know what to do. Okay, this one, much anticipated model. A little while back, I looked at a model called the Flight Fireball Tenor. Uh, really, really good instrument. They are incredibly popular. When stores get them in, they just go out the door. Everybody wants one because they're damn good. And at the time, people were asking for other scales. Now, I don't normally do more than one scale of the same instrument within, you know, soprano and a tenor because the specs are the same. But I'll make an exception for the baritone, and I'm making an exception because it's a baritone. It, it's strung differently, it's tuned differently. Um, this is the Fly, Fly, Flight Fireball EQA Baritone, and it's, I loved the tenor. There's gonna be a lot of repetition in this one. I love the tenor, I love the look of this one. It's a really modern, uh, rounded shape. This is a big old baritone. This is a big body. This is almost, a, what would you call it, a super baritone, something like that, a jumbo baritone. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning to look at, even more so than the tenor, just because there's so much real estate going on here. This is all solid mango. Uh, like some mango, I, I say I don't like because it can look a bit sooty, uh, a bit streaky. This one's not bad at all. All solid, two pieces on the top, two pieces on the sides, and two pieces on the back. Back's got a really nice arch to it as well. Uh, yeah, it's just so swoopy and lovely, isn't it? I love, love the shape of this, really love the shape of this. The bridge is made of rosewood, same as the tenor, with those little red dotted bridge pins. Really, really attractive, very, very tidy, compensated bone saddle sat in the slot. The decoration here, sympathetic to the mango. You've got this black edge binding around the top um, and the tail stripe as well, nothing on the back. Uh, black sound hole ring as well, and then this cutaway, scalloped cutaway, finished in black as well. Um, a wonderful deep gloss on this one, really, really good shiny gloss. Um, not too bad on the fingerprints actually, surprisingly, but very, very deep gloss. The same gemstone, uh, stained glass window, don't know what you'd call it. Cutaway for the side sound port, uh, they're really, really popular because it's really, really pretty. And you'll check that this one also has a jack output here because it is fitted with an active pickup. You know I don't normally like active pickups, but really that's because of the ones that have got the big uh, ugly control panel in the side. I've got a Gibson guitar that's got a sound hole pickup like this. I can live with that. Uh, inside, very, very tidy. Tapered braces, notched linings, no mess. Very nice inside as well. Okay, this is all really good. That gloss is lovely and I just love the look of it. The neck, mahogany, three pieces, joint at the heel, joint at the headstock, pretty well hidden. And then running down the back, a really attractive skunk stripe in black, more of the black tying in with the decor of the body. That's really nice. Um, finished in satin, like the tenor is as well. Really glad that they've stuck with that. Really quick neck to play. Tapers down to a fairly rounded profile, but ultra roomy up here. 38 mil and 30 from, uh, from the treble to the bass strings. That's really, really nice and big. Uh, the fingerboard, more rosewood. Superb condition. Absolutely wonderful, dark, even, well-oiled condition. Uh, fitted with uh, 19 frets, 14 to the body. Semi-hemi fret ends. The little curved, sh curved edges. No sharp edges because of that, but also because it's bound in black as well down the sides. The same offset position dots that people really liked. Uh, 3, 5, 7, 10, double 12th and 1 at the 15th. Um, they're nice and interesting and you also get side dots as well wonderful uh, bone nut up to the open frame headstock that flight are kind of famous for now I said about the tenor I thought that the logo was lost I think it's lost here as well why don't they make that logo black to tie in with the skunk stripe and to tie in with this decoration it would look great in black I don't see it in some lights see Okay, minor gripe, <laughs> and then fitted with Prowell 
black and gold geared tuners, really good quality, really, really smooth, great tuners. Uh, the strings are Worth Browns on the uh, B&E. I don't know who's made the wound strings for the D&G. Uh, and it comes also with the now pretty well-loved padded red flight gig bag. They're really nice. Um, and it, there we are. And that all comes in at a price of about 5 99 in the UK. Southern Ukulele still had them on for 5 99 um, So it's kind of a serious price. When I reviewed the Tenor Fireball, I think it was their top end in the flight range. But of course, Flight have since now done things like the Anniversary Series. So it's kind of mid-level for flight, for flight, but serious mid-level. Um, I have no problem with that. I think it's worth 599. It's absolutely drop dead gorgeous, beautiful instrument. That wood grain, the decor, the mix. It's a very well loved style because of the way that tenor did. Everyone likes these. If you're a baritone fan, this is lovely. If it plays okay, of course. Oh, let's have a weight. Hefty at 955 grams, but just, you know, doesn't it's a big instrument, isn't it? But it balances wonderfully, feels really nice in the hands. It is like holding a small guitar. big instrument it's very loud and wonderful sustain because of those bass notes starting to enjoy the baritone more um, and I don't review enough of them I appreciate that but then I, I leave reviews up to stores and brands to send me what they want reviewed and they don't send me baritones very often flight loaned this one to me they sent this over so this is flight's choice to have this one reviewed and I'm really glad they did because um, I kind of I think I prefer this to the tenor and they're both very good but there's something about that sort of big full sound to this one that I think is absolutely wonderful the flight EQA Baritone Fireball, all solid mango, 599. Really, really good instrument, absolutely superb. Thank you very much for watching. This is the last ukulele review of 2022 because in the next two weeks I'm having some time off with the family around Christmas 
and I'm back probably about New Year's Eve, sometime like that, um, maybe into just into January. So there's not going to be any more ukulele reviews. Thank you so much for watching over the course of the year. It's been great. I've really enjoyed doing them. It's, it's um, yeah, your support has been much appreciated. I'll be back very soon. You look after yourselves. Have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, have a wonderful break. Uh, just have a wonderful time. Uh, be good to each other. Be good to your families. And take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.